Song's nice and all, but you're scaring the little ones. Oh, sorry, Gramble. Inspiration is so hard to find. I just have to sing wherever it strikes me. Well, uh, maybe it could strike you over there. Oh, but I'd hate to go alone. Won't you join me for a long walk on the beach? Like a date? Of course, darling. It would just be you, me, and your delectable strabbies. Singing the night away until we drift off to sleep. No! Uh, sorry. Every time I go to sleep around you, my snacks just up and vanish. So no to all that. But the date's still a maybe. Oh, very well. I will go and seek my inspiration alone. Ta, my dear. Oh, calm down, little ones. Wiggle means well. She just don't understand you like I do. I haven't seen you around here before. If you're looking for bug snacks, you best turn back. These little ones are my kin. Well, that's a relief. Sorry to be short with you. I haven't slept much lately. I'm Gramble Giggle Funny. I'm an aspiring bug snacks breeder. Have you talked to Wiggle yet? Oh, she's real nice. Though she can come off a bit, uh, <clears throat> strong. I'm not too keen on going to town, but I'm running out of room down here. I want to get back to my barn. Trouble is, some of my snacks went missing. I'm not going back till they're all home. If you want to help me, then I got a friend to introduce you to. Follow me! <laughs> See that Strabby? That there's Sprout. I've been training him to follow my pointer in his buggy ball. We were in the middle of training. See if you can guide Sprout back here to us. always been a good judge of character. Sprout loves adventure. 
Always got along well with Lizbert, too. <laughs> anyway, I'm missing my three peel bugs. They like to hide out inside little holes around the beach. Please find them. Those little cuties must be so scared without me. Oh, my God. 
Anyway, I'm missing my three peel, but please find them. real good. They don't even want to unroll. They don't like being in your trap much. I still got two Queebles missing, but I want you to bring them to me without catching them in your trap. Lucky you got Sprout to help out. Smother him in chocolate and those Queebles will follow him till the end of time. Cry. Here goes. <laughs> I'm ready to head back to the ranch. Thanks for all your help. I want you to take Sprout with you. He's always wanted a life of adventure. I'm just holding him back. Sprout, your papa's got a job to do. All your friends are going to a new home. You're going with this nice grumpus right here. I'll miss you something fierce, but it's okay. You can come see Papa anytime. <laughs> you take care of Sprout, or else. A 
Aloha, darling. Welcome to Wiggle Wiggle Bottom's steamy walking tour. Lucky you, you get an autograph. Oh, I can see you're utterly starstruck. Don't fret, darling. I always have time for my fans. Ah, oh, Gramble. Such soulful eyes. Such a caring heart. Such a collection of snacks. <gasps> you want me to come back to town? Darling, it will have to wait. I simply cannot rest until I find my muse. And by muse, I mean bud snacks. Change starts from the outside in, darling. If I want new ideas, I need a new look. Mm, how about a wild new hairdo? Get me a pineantula and we'll see what we can do. A new head, I can think new thoughts. That's the magic of bug snacks. Now my creative juices can flow. Mm, I know I'm flowing. I'm flowing. This flow is more of a dribble. I need you to turn it up, darling. Find me a grape skeeter. They're too fast for Grambler or I to catch, but maybe you can find a way to slow them down. Is a striking no, and now the ideas will flow. Mm -hmm, they're gonna flow Ooh, any second now. Come on now, uh, I assure you. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I have nothing. There simply isn't a snack on this beach that can give me the inspiration that I need, which is why you should look in the desert. I need a look that pops, a look that's hot. Darling, I would be so delighted if you could go to the Scorched Gorge and catch two pop ticks. <laughs> Drop 
Tropica, Tropica. Well, well, well. Look what the snack dragged in. Oh, I wouldn't have come back if I knew you were here. That's so. Well, I ain't about to leave now. Oh, yeah? Me neither. Then I reckon we're neighbors again. Howdy, neighbor. I got my eye on you, Wambus Trouble Ham. You best keep your eyes on your snacks. Seems like they're getting away from you. Oh, Charlie, where'd you run off to? I've uh, never done an interview before. Um, how's it work? <laughs> uh, Gramble Giggle Funny. I look after all the bug snacks in town and make sure they don't wander off. I heard Lizbert was gathering up some grumps to be part of her new family, and I thought I could really use one of those. I did, but then they... Uh, can we talk about something else? Well, they're just the cutest little things, aren't they? I don't understand how anybody could look into their googly little eyes and want to eat them. Uh... Um, well, they don't eat none of mine, and that's what counts. Without Liz to bring in snacks, everybody got mighty hungry. They done treated my barn like a grocery store. I held them off for a while, but I should have known Wambus never quits. <sighs> the next night, I woke up to him throwing my snacks into a sack. I panicked, and I let the rest go free. Broke my heart, but it's better than them getting eaten. I left that night for the beach and started rebuilding my family. Maybe. Wiggles a lot, but she's got a good heart. If she really likes me, she'll learn to love bug snacks the way I do. Lisbeth? She'd bring me lots of new friends to take care of. Sometimes we'd work together training my little ones. Sometimes she'd ask for one and I'd have to say goodbye. I like to think they're all like Sprout, helping out like little sidekicks. But sometimes she didn't get enough on the hunt. She always liked to bring something back for Eggabelle. Can we talk about something else? Sometimes I wake up at night and I'm out of bed. Lost in the woods. I think I see Lizbert out there watching me like a vengeful spirit. Uh, can, can we talk about something else? Whew. I don't think I like interviews very much. Here, Lizbert dropped this in my barn back when. I never got around to giving it back. I don't know what it's for, but you can have it if you promise never to interview me again. So, even though we're home, the little ones are still restless. I think they might be getting lonely. After all, the barn used to be chock full of bug snacks. 
I'd be real grateful if you donate a few more bug snacks to my barn. M maybe a half dozen or so? <laughs> Nice night out. You're really doing it! You're bringing everybody back! You even got Bethika here. She's awful. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should throw a welcome back party. Having a good time, buddy. You should go and mingle with your new friends. Hey there, bestie. Good to see you. Finally, somebody worth talking to. Living here is better than that cave, but it's still pretty dull. Like, where's the drama at? Thanks for coming to the party, Beth. I, like, live here now? You started a party around me. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> How's the butt juice? Isn't this just water? Well, uh, it, it's bug-infused. So it's about as strong as you? <laughs> I give this party a two out of ten. Oh, hey, you remember Charlie? How's my little Sprout doing? He miss his papa? Oh, of course he does. Maybe you should let me watch him for a few days. Oh, maybe even a week or a year or two. Gramble, welcome back. How's the barn? Well, it's good and locked. Uh, great. <laughs> it's, it's good to be secure. What happened to the snacks you were babysitting for me? Great catching up with you, buddy. Well, howdy, stranger. Seems you're getting along just fine. Farm's doing okay on my end. Shindigs like this don't sit right with me. Feels like I should be getting work done. Welcome to the party, Wambone. We are not friends. Uh, come on, everybody. It's a party. Woo! -woo. Drink, mingle, get wild. Bebefica, doesn't this music make you just want to dance? With you? As if. My new bestie's the only reason I'm here. Wambus, Gramble, you two probably have loads to talk about. I got nothing to say to a guy like Wambus. That's so. I got plenty to say to you. Oh yeah? Well, go on and say it. It's your fault we're in this mess. If you'd have let us eat your precious livestock, we could have kept together. They weren't livestock. They were my little ones, my kin. You lied and stole them away because you can't grow food for yourself. You think these walking vegetables are your family? I got news for you, Gramble. Bug snacks will never love you. You don't know a thing about love! That's why your wife left you! I'm gonna do violence to you. <laughs> hey, let's let's all take a breath here and... Don't act like you're in charge! If you had the spine to lead us, everybody would still be here! Don't you mean Trippany would still be here? Fine! All y'all gang up on me! And don't make me wrong! You all want Trippany back so bad? Go find her yourself! OMG, that was so juicy! This party is now a 4 out of 10. There, there, Charlie. Nothing to be scared of. Papa's not gonna let those mean old grumpuses eat you. Well, that wasn't ideal. But maybe after a few dozen more parties, we'll all be friends again. Uh, either way, thanks for being here, buddy. Oh, hey, I just realized. You haven't had any bug snacks yet. Oh, you must be starving. Well, here, 
have a strabby on me. Maybe we can end this night on a high note. Huh? How can you write about bug snacks without first-hand experience? Oh, come on, at least try it. You gotta be curious, right? That's the spirit. Strabby. Uh, are, are you okay? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I uh, guess you're allergic to bug snacks? Didn't see that coming. <laughs> All right, as long as you're fine, I'll, um, I'll get out of your hair.